when COVID started really hitting in the UK, there started being a whole host of conversations around how um, engineers and people with expertise in technology development and manufacturing could start trying to support the healthcare system. So we quite quickly started thinking about how we could try and build capacity with non-invasive ventilators within the NHS. And specifically, we were thinking about devices called CPAPs, which are continuous positive airway pressure devices. What these devices do is essentially um, enable you to deliver pressurised oxygen through a face mask. And that pressurised oxygen essentially splits open the lung bases and enables you to get more oxygen into the patient's lungs and bloodstream. Now, one of the advantages of these CPAPs is that usually treatment takes around three to four days. And it's also, in general, a lot easier to train healthcare workers to use the devices. So the surge for COVID was coming and coming quickly. And so if we, if we were going to contribute something useful, we needed to be able to manufacture these devices at scale within you know, a couple of weeks was the time scales that we set for ourselves. To do this quickly, we needed the skills of uh, sort of the motorsports industry. Uh, that they can manufacture and um, produce high-quality engineering in a very short time frame. We've got very close links in particular with Mercedes, AMG, HPP, which uh, in, in sort of short term is, is the, the group that builds the engines for Lewis Hamilton for the Formula One team. Because we had this whole team in place where we had the clinical representation, the engineers and the industry and manufacturing, it really meant that we could move all of that very quickly and seamlessly. From seeing the device for the very first time, we went from uh, that part of the project through to making the first prototype and being back in hospital for testing within 100 hours. And then within 10 days, we'd actually taken that prototype through the approval process with the MHRA. When we started talking to the Cabinet Office and the Department of Health and Social Care, we were having a, a um, Zoom call with them and um, quite quickly the conversations progressed and they put in an order for up to 10,000 of the devices. So Mercedes were able to produce these devices at a rate of up to 1,000 a day. So we knew we could deliver on these kind of volume of numbers. We've started getting an increasing number of contacts coming in from hospitals across the UK, but then also internationally around getting access to the devices. We released all of the designs and manufacturing processes at zero cost to enable the international community to start manufacturing them themselves. Within a couple of weeks now, we've had over 1,800 approved downloads, and that's across over 100 countries, which is phenomenal. And it's also been amazing to see that different countries are starting to now produce their own versions of the of the CPAP devices and prototypes. So we're now getting kind of photos of, from, for example, Kenya or Canada, and Russia and Bulgaria, where people are sending in their 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 kind of initial prototypes. So I think to date we've we've supplied devices and consumables to over 40 hospitals. From the beginning, you know, our, our complete motivations with this were to be able to contribute and do something that would help help in the in the kind of COVID fight. Mm -hmm.